Hi guys, today I have this really dramatic, dark, sexy, smoky eye for fall. I hope you guys like this, and if you want to find out how I did this, just keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm doing is taking a tinted moisturizer and I'm just going to dot that on my face and then buff it out with my Real Techniques buffing brush. And for my primer I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Primer in Light and I'm just going to use my fingers to blend that in. And if you have oily skin this is a pretty important step. And then here I'm just taking my foundation and I'm just going to dot that on my face and then buff it in. The foundation that I'm using is the L'Oreal Lumi. And the brush that I'm using is from Royal Cosmetics. Now for my eyebrows I'm taking the color Espresso by MAC. And the brush that I'm using is an Ulta Small Angled Brush. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm taking my NYX Base in Nude and I'm just going to take this uh, Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm just going to evenly apply that on my entire lid and on my bottom lash line as well because we're going to be adding some color so we want our shadows to last all night. Now for the first color, I'm taking this warm chocolate brown color from the palette Le Bomb. Uh, it's called the Meat Matte Palette. So I'm just going to buff that color right onto my crease. I wanted my eyes to be pretty dark, so I'm just going to add a lot of layers to them and then just keep blending it in until you get the desired darkness that you want. Here I'm taking a small short shader brush, the E20 by Sigma, and I'm just going to concentrate that color just below my crease, and this is going to really darken up that area, and then you just want to blend that out. Here I'm taking a nude um, skin tone color, and I'm, and I'm just going to apply that on my entire lid, and then you want to blend that upwards. And the brush that I'm using is the E55 brush. Now I'm taking a really dark brown matte eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply that on the outer V of my eye. Now I'm taking a black color and I'm just going to apply that on my outer V as well but I'm not going to bring it in as far as I did the brown color and then you're going to blend that out. Now with whatever's left on the brush I'm just going to run that down to my bottom lash line just to smoke it out. And the brush that I'm using is my Pencil E30 Sigma brush. Here I'm going to take a small clean blending brush just to make sure that the outer edges are nice and smoked out. Here I'm going to create a cat eye shape for my eye and the eyeliner I'm using is the L'Oreal Infallible L'Oreal Eyeliner. 
And the eyeliner brush that I'm using is the E05 Eyeliner Sigma Brush. And with a really small brush and a brown color, I'm just going to blend out that black just to not make it so harsh. Now with a flat um, eyeliner brush, I'm just going to dip that into a matte black and then just apply that right over the gel eyeliner. This is going to help mattify it. And it also just helps make the eyeliner a little bit more intense. Now you can apply your favorite mascara and apply a generous amount to your top and bottom lashes. This is a smoky eye after all so if you want false lashes go ahead and apply those. Here I'm taking my concealer. This one is my MAC Studio Finish Concealer and I'm taking my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I like this brush for, for applying concealer because it just helps get really close to your eyes. Now I'm going back into my eyebrows and I'm just going to fix them up a little bit. I think I messed them up a little when I was applying my base for my eyeshadow so I'm just going back to make sure that they're nice and clean and of course I'm just going to make them a little bit thicker and here I'm just taking a Sigma tapered face brush and I'm going to take some loose powder to make sure that my face stays nice and mattified throughout the day And for contouring, I'm just taking my favorite contouring powder. It's called Harmony by MAC. And it's actually a blush, but I'm just going to apply that on the hollows of my cheeks, on my chin, and around my hairline, anywhere where I normally apply it. Now for blush, I'm taking the color Pinch Me, and I'm going to apply that just on the apples of my cheeks. And for my lips, I'm going pretty nude. I'm taking the color Mocha by Smashbox. And it's a matte shade because you know how I love my matte lipsticks. And after that, we've completed the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to write comments and subscribe. And if you guys have any requests for any future tutorials, don't forget to write them down below. And again, thank you so much for watching.